Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of Jezudea, the archangel, God is the, the angel that rewards those for their spiritual labor. No, not uh, a fig. She's a false goddess. Quit pronouncing false goddess on God's days. All right. Well, topic of the message. Well, I think, well, uh, I think Mardi Gras weekend is happening or something like that Mardi Gras or something well I want to help people understand that Mardi Gras is a wrong uh which shouldn't surprise you that it's very wrong to celebrate Mardi Gras because it's a worship to Ishtar uh concerning her and the evil nemesis pretty much to God concerning a lot of things throughout human history. Don't worship Mardi Gras. Don't participate in it. It's evil and wrong, pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> but the topic of this message <clears throat> that always aggravates me every time I do a post and every time I do a video, um, it's like, the reality of what are you talking about? Um, especially this goes, this, I hope this message will resonate more with Christians than anything. Um, what are you talking about? I mean, the thing is, here's the thing that I want to put it out there. I just want to put this out there concerning what I do, uh, what I post, what videos I say. I don't, Care. I don't care about getting any likes. You know, I just want to let you know that I don't care about getting any likes of my videos or posts. But what I do care about more than anything is are you talking about whatever information that I'm giving you to people? You know, what are you uh what are you talking about to um uh, 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 whatever topic is being talked about. Because here's the thing that I noticed in s researching the scriptures that it talks about in Ephesians uh, 2, it talks about that people conversate concerning the things of the lust of the flesh. And they conversate, you know, of course, the things of this world system. And, 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 and how that affects people's D decision making or more likely give people a reason to commit the lust of the flesh you know what I'm saying uh, when you talk about and conversate about the very things you know that they are ta uh, talking about and how much you uh, will expound the conversation in whatever thing that this world system is talking about um people will bring more uh, reason to involve themselves into whatever it's talking about. That's what, you know, conversations lead to situations that is depending upon the conversation is the situation. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and this is powerful. This is very powerful because it weighs in into the decisions of a lot of people. You know, interesting, I, I, you know, hanging out at the bar and, and I'm hearing the conversations that goes on and, and, and the reactions of the conversations. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at this, shaking my head like crazy and like, church, what's going on? What are you what are you are going to not do concerning of what the word of God says based upon fellowship that I always uh, going to be a component, and I and it's sad to me. I don't see fellowship being talked about amongst Christians on Facebook. I mean, how important fellowship is should be concerning it should be done in some kind of way, shape, or form. Someone should be on an agenda to get people fellowship, and whether they have to take them to their house or take them to a restaurant, whether they take them to a building. Fellowship should be an agenda for, you know, those that are truly about the kingdom of God, because 
the kingdom of God is about you obeying what the word of God says and really executing to establish his kingdom. And fellowship is plays a great role in as a true church, not the false church. Well, this false church system make it about the emphasis of men and women preaching and teaching and, and they emphasize preaching and teaching more than they do fellowship. You know what I'm saying? People don't hardly ever fellowship. But the thing is, but but what you talk about and it's, it's going to weigh in in the judgment and decisions of people concerning their decisions they're going to make. And, and you know, the sad part, you know, this world system, you know how the world, they'll talk all this negative stuff. They'll talk about bad things and then something bad happened. Oh, no, bad tragedy happened. Oh, let's talk about how this bad tragedy happened and let's talk about more bad about the tragedy. You know, they're going to talk more bad about it and how bad that it happened. And it's like, where is the church talking about the good news of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that can help the situation and circumstances of this situation? How much are we going to, we're talking about this. You know what I'm saying? Of, of Jesus Christ, where we're at in our schools, where we're at in our workplace, where we're at, how much we are, how much Jesus is in our conversation and how much, look, you may not can't get conversation with this sinner over here, but you know that this is a Christian over here. How much a conversation you are getting with Christians, where you at? You know what I'm saying? It's very important and vital concerning the weighing of decisions that we make in our life, those that are truly wanting to be more like Jesus Christ, it's important that you talk amongst people that are Christians and maybe you will gravitate sinners to come and join conversation, the discussions of certain things that are going on around and, and, and you know, and get them asking questions about certain things. You know what I'm saying? And it's amazing, you know, how much that people don't see no need to question and investigate as Christians of what they're talking about. Like if someone threw this topic out there uh, or a political or political topic out there, how many Christians will engage in, in it? You know what I'm saying? If someone threw a topic about uh, sports, how many Christians will engage in it? You know what I'm saying? If someone threw a topic of anything that is going on in this world, You'd be shocked how many Christians just bam, they're talking about this detailed aspects of it. But if we throw the topic of Jesus Christ and stuff like that, how much are you going to talk about it and expound and get people to understand what this is all about? Is you know, is 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 really what needs to be the main agenda than any thing for a Christian to do each and every day. Each and every day that you find someone that you can talk about it. You can talk more about, you know, what's going on in the world concerning uh, the word of God. I mean, like the idea that the, you know, Philadelphia Eagles uh, gave glory to God concerning winning the Super Bowl. How much you talk about that? You know what I'm saying? How much you talk about, you know, uh, 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 that, you know, it says that Haiti, Haiti uh, did a, a march in their country, praising Jesus Christ. How much you talk about? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, I post uh, I, uh, post stuff and I do videos. I don't, want, I don't care about your likes. I don't want your likes, really. But what I do want than anything is to talk and discuss what has been given to you, whether you don't agree with it or not. You should talk about it at least, you know what I'm saying? Especially as pertaining to things of God It's just Christians should talk about these things. And the lack of this not being talked about is the lack of no, uh, nobody is not trying to deal with certain things that are very important and vital concerning what we're doing of establishing the kingdom of God on earth. Those that are Christians that are sincere about establishing the kingdom of God on earth should make that an agenda to talk about things that are in the church that, that, that is going on. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how much time I got, but I want to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? That I, you know, 
they're in in the in the Middle East, there are so many uh cities in the Middle East that are called Christian cities. You know what I'm saying? There's Christian cities in the Middle East that are not Christian church buildings, but there are Christian cities in the Middle East. And the thing is, you know, if there's Christian cities in the Middle East, okay, United States is, they have Christians in the United States. Um, how many Christian cities are in the United States of America being established? Because uh, they have Christian cities over there. And, and if the apostles ministered to these cities over here and, oh, well, ministered in established cities, then why there's not any cities, Christian cities, going on where Christians are at, you know? But there's a lot of buildings going on, built here, built here, built here, built here, built here. But where is the city expansion of, of what was established here? Because this is established based upon the early church. You know what I'm saying? The early church established these ideas of of cities that's that produce cities but now we just have buildings over here and building the building you know you know and the thing is and to me i believe that they followed what peter said in acts 242 the apostles doctrine fellowship and the breaking of bread and prayer and fellowship was an agenda because the more you talk about something you will be about it the, what you talk about will bring more perf, uh, reason to perform. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says, like I said in e, uh, Ephesians 2, the more you talk about the lust and, and the things of this world, and, and the more you be about it. And the thing is, we need to be talking about the things of God and the, the Bible and this, uh, on a discussion basis, hopefully that it don't lead to arguments, but on a discussion basis, based upon the little things that are going on around our com a c country or communities and making making it from a biblical standpoint that we need to be uh, uh, be about these solutions to get things better. That, you know, the, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is about bringing solutions to problems, you know, and because every, now everybody can talk ab about a problem and emphasize a problem in this uh, uh, world system. As you see, you know, the shooting, you know, they're emphasizing problems of what happened here and emphasizing problems of what happened there. We need, as Christians, need to be talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ that will bring solutions, 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 solutions. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you're talking about. Now, here's the thing. I'm just going to tell you like this. If you don't be about this talking about Jesus Christ, do not complain about the bad things and horrible things that are going on around your area. Do not, if something bad happens and you want to complain, ah, something bad happened again, something bad happened. Do not complain because the power of your conversation of talking about the word of God, anybody can do it. Sinners can do it. Anybody can talk about something. But if you're not going to be about talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ on the agenda, with an agenda of fellowship, you know what I'm saying? You just want more problems to continue happening in your area and problems to happen in your family and friends concerning open up your mouth. As what King Solomon says, there's death and life in the power of the tongue. If you want to not talk about the things of God and give power to darkness, to that darkness are going to talk about their nonsense, regardless, if you don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You gave power to emphasize something that is going to lead somebody to death, because the wages of sin is death. But if you don't open up your mouth and really talk about and discuss the issues and the things concerning the Word of God, you are creating people reasons to cause problems around you. So don't complain about the bad situations that are going on. All right, that's the message. Hope you be about it. To God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.